I say to my children that I think the two most important things in life are to be brave and to be kind. To be brave and to be kind for yourself, to yourself, and for others. I certainly try to be brave and kind every day. When I was a young girl in my father's presidential campaign headquarters, the nightly news was on and they showed a clip of Magic Johnson's press conference in which he acknowledged that he was HIV positive. And I remember the journalists commenting afterwards how courageous he'd been, how brave he was to own his status. And then thinking, why is bravery required kind of when you're just talking about your health? And that prompted my kind of now lifelong, many decadal commitment to kind of better understand what shapes our public and individual health and carve out a way to hopefully make a positive difference in helping to protect and promote public health and to obliterate stigma. Feels like there's just so much yet to do, so much ahead. While I am incredibly proud of the very small role that I have played you know, here at the Clinton Foundation, I still feel like there's just so much more to do. And I think I inherited that from my parents. I fundamentally believe that we are citizens every day, not just on an election day or not just in an election year. And thankfully feeling like there are many important ways to make a difference, including, of course, who's in office, but also including the choices that all of us who are not in office make every day. I am deeply passionate about public health. I'm deeply passionate about protecting women and girls. I'm deeply passionate about doing whatever I can. The nomenclature that I sometimes explain what I do to my kids of trying to stop bad things from happening and help good things happen and help everyone kind of lead their best life story. My personal goal in my work here at the foundation is to help empower as many people as possible to lead their best, healthiest, and most productive lives. I remember when I was a little girl and my parents went to Israel and came back and were talking to me about their trip. And of course, painfully, my most kind of deep memory of Israel is the assassination of Yitzhak Rabin. And I remember thinking it was only the third or fourth time I'd ever seen my father cry. And Shalom, Haber. One of the things, maybe the thing I most appreciate about Ben Gurion University is not just an emphasis, but a commitment to kind of research that can inform action. And I know that that is central to the ethos of Ben Gurion, and I'm very proud to be receiving an honorary doctorate from an institution that similarly believes that there needs to be a connection between kind of the questions that we're asking and the research that we're pursuing to help Israel, but also ultimately our world be safer, more sustainable, healthier, more equitable, and more just.